In Paris, 75 years ago, a Swiss peasant realized a lifetime ambition. Just off the Place Vendôme, he opened what he believed to be the best hotel in the world. His name was César Ritz, and he named the hotel, quite simply, The Ritz. The word and the hotel have become synonymous with all that is best, elegant, opulent, and snobbish, too. Today, his son Charles carries on his father's wish. At 80, Charles Ritz is the last of the line. But Ritz, the hotel, and all that the name implies, will go on as long as there are people with money who care about living in and being seen to live in what we call the Grand Manor. The Ritz is not the biggest hotel in the world, neither is it the most expensive. In truth, it's much as its founder, Cesar Ritz, wanted it to be. A little house to which I would be very proud to see my name attached. Cesar's idea was that people should feel at home in his little house. And the names that made it their home would fill a blue book of the arts and politics and finance, and a rogues gallery as well. If you were brought up between the wars and read the fiction or listened to the music of the time, then this is just probably the most romantic place on earth. It is the Ritz Bar, and 40 years ago you could come in here and watch the truly gilded people at play. Scott Fitzgerald brought the young Hemingway here, and Fitzgerald and many of his characters got very drunk, made passes at beautiful women, and got beaten up in fistfights. In the corner, Cole Porter scribbling music on a napkin, Winston Churchill sipping champagne, Valentino and Garbo being idolized. It was the literary and social mecca of the time, and everyone seemed young and beautiful and rich. It was to hear that the lost generation came to laugh at the rest of the world. Hemingway, Ernest Hemingway, is reputed to have liberated the Ritz at the end well, of the, when Paris was liberated. Tell me about that. Is it true? Well, I happen to be there, and I must say there's quite a lot of truth to it. He arrived uh, from the Place Vendôme here, drove around here, arrived here, got out of a jeep with the Fifis and the machine guns, the and Fifis. he walked in. How he many had, Fifis? He had three of them. He walked in, he said, I'm taking over the Ritz. And the same moment, way up over there, they heard a shot, a rifle shot. Hemingway looked up there, he says, there must be a German up there, where's your roof? And he took the elevator and the staircase, got on the roof and started a, on a safari hunt for the Germans on the buildings of the Place Vendôme. But he didn't find him, and then he came down and he said, Charles, how about a magnum of champagne now, see? So we went upstairs and the house gave him a magnum of champagne.